I keep hearing about these ghost guns. What are ghost guns? Now, we found the answer to our question, but first, let me admit that I had never heard of ghost guns until a D.C. police source tipped me off to the proliferation of a new kind of semi-automatic weapon that is turning up at crime scenes. People are building untraceable and unregistered guns in their homes right now, and there are no laws to stop them in D.C., Maryland, or Virginia. A ghost gun is a firearm that's comprised of several parts that are largely purchased online. This is what a ghost gun looks like. And this is what a ghost gun sounds like. Make no mistake, this is the real thing. It can hurt you, it can kill you. Ghost guns are ordered in parts from well-known websites, then assembled in people's homes and businesses. This looks, this is a real firearm. This is a real firearm. There is no serial number unless the owner chooses to contact ATF to ask for one. There's no manufacturer's label. Parts came in individually, you put it together, and now you've got a gun capable of firing. Correct. Ghost guns cannot be traced, and that's the attraction to the criminal element. We've traced these guns since uh, 2017. We received one in 2017. We then gradually increased to 18 in 2018, and now we're at 84 in 2019. 84 in 2019. Right. Which says that they're becoming more prevalent. Yes. The word is out there. That is correct. We check with ATF and MPD. We were told there is no federal or local law that specifically prohibits citizens from owning ghost guns. Now, you should know the D.C. Council is holding a hearing today to draft legislation to cover ghost guns. We're not giving out the websites for making your own gun, but basically here's how they get around the law. The gun kits that are coming from the Internet allow the purchaser to assembly 80% of the firearm, and that keeps them under the legal definition of a gun. Parts of the remaining 20% of the gun are then purchased over the counter at local gun shops. Got that?